Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be solving this problem from Pathfinder. So in this question, we have a rope which is nailed at two points A and B, and it is suspended by it. And we also have a bead here, which is left, which is released from rest. And as it goes downwards, when and when it reaches the bottommost point, we are required to find the acceleration of the bead at this point. Okay, so that's the question. And the length of the rope is given to be L and this depth is d and the angle theta is also given so yeah so beginning with the solution first of all we can easily find the velocity at point c by conserving energy between point a and point c because there is no friction so energy will be conserved in this case and the velocity will get it to be root 2 gd now <clears throat> if we look at the fbd of the bead at point c we'll have the weight of the bead and we'll have the reaction force by the rope on the bead and the thing is there is no tangential forces acting on it which means the acceleration will purely be perpendicular to the velocity okay so now there is no way we can find the acceleration uh, in the normal direction by using the fbd because the mass of the bead is not given in this case and we won't be able to determine the reaction force either. So in this case, as we know the velocity and the acceleration vectors up and the, the acceleration is normal to the velocity, we can, if we, if we could find out the radius of curvature at point C, then we can determine the perpendicular acceleration as V square by the radius of curvature at that point. So that is what we are gonna be doing in this case. So for that, we are going to be taking a very small um, slice of this rope uh, at the point C. And <clears throat> we are going to draw a differential FBD of that very small slice. Okay, so it's really small. So we can assume the radius of curvature R to be same and we can assume the tension to be same, in, same as well. Now you may be knowing uh, about this FBD. So if we take this angle to be D theta, this angle would be half of that so now if you balance the forces of this small part of the rope uh, let's assume the weight to be dm g and if you balance it you'll get the radius of curvature at the point c as t divided by lambda g where t is the tension at the bottommost point tension at the point c so now we have to determine the tension at point c for that we'll draw the half of BD of the rope, okay? And the tension at this point is T. Let's assume the tension at the topmost point is T1. This angle theta is given. And the weight of the half rope is lambda times LG by two. Where lambda is the linear mass density of the rope. So now balancing the FBD, uh, balancing the forces, we'll get the value of tension to be lambda LG by two cot theta. Now, now, as we have everything now, we can just find the normal acceleration to be the speed squared divided by the radius of curvature. And that is 2GD upon L cot theta by 2. And this will be your final acceleration of the bead at the bottommost point. So, thanks for watching, guys.